Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jammer coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we're claiming our first bonus plate as well as upgrading to 91 overall. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we've got a busy episode. I want to do a number of things. Um, I want to upgrade the team a little bit as well as uh, talk about Thanksgiving and then we may also look at a few cards on the team of the week market First and foremost though, there is this 150 point pack that I will open I'm not gonna bother with any of the others um, just because they are untradeable But if you've got the same FIFA points from last season It may be a decent idea to open up this 150 point pack and see what you do get um, So there has been a slight change in the chain packs from last season obviously last season you had to pay um to open up this first aspect of the chain but now it's got fifa points because now fifa points are unobtainable in the game which is a bit of a shame obviously it'd be fantastic if these packs had a gem option as well but let's go and see what we get in this pack guys um if you've only got you know less than a thousand fifa points i definitely probably wouldn't recommend it i mean looking at the odds here there is a 3.6% chance of getting the elite. And obviously these elites are untradeable. But let's just see what we do get in this. And I won't probably be uh, continuing off the chain just because the elites are untradeable. So it looks as though we will just get uh, some of the food items. Which is more than fine. It will help us on the Thanksgiving tree. But still not probably worth it guys in the long run. Anyway what I want to do now is claim up our first plate. Um, because it is that time guys we've finally reached... 50 foods with regards to everything even before that pack so let's just go into the events and see what our first special plate is going to be so first and foremost guys we are just going to claim up the final two special plates which is going to be one of these pie plates i'm hoping that we do get one with 50 points that would be absolutely fantastic that will help us so much uh, in the long run for this event having said that though obviously the rewards aren't the greatest so this is our final plate guys, what's it going to be? And we do unlock the bonus, obviously we do not want that, we have no interest in that whatsoever. What do we get? So it looks as though we are going to get a pie plate with only 25 points. A bit of a shame, um, but still obviously I'll take it. Still a decent ratio there, so there is 125 uh, Thanksgiving points. So what I need to work on now is uh, obviously getting my pies back up to 50. Um, I may start opening up the high ratio ones because as of now, I've just been opening up the one plates um, to sort of save up my points to get them up to 50. But obviously now, as the event goes on, our points are going to grow uh, exponentially. But I may even save it until the end. We'll have to just wait and see like the last three days or so um, and then work from it from there. But I want to go and claim up some of these rewards. Now, I'm just going to be focusing predominantly on the skill boost. So let's see if we can get them here. I should have... More points than that. Let me just restart the app, guys, because it looks as though the points haven't registered, and then I'll be right back. And guys, we are back. We just had to go through and restart the app. For some reason, the 125 Thanksgiving points didn't register, but they are there now. We've also got an achievement uh, for doing our first special plate. So let's see uh, what we did get. Okay, we get a gold player. Can we get an elite from here? That will be interesting to see if we can. Unfortunately, not a pretty useless card, to say the least. Let's go back into the event, guys, and just claim up some of the rewards. So, like I was saying, I want to work firstly on the uh, skill boost and that sort of stuff because that, for me, is the most important thing going forward. Um, let's just go and open up this pack. So, 50k and 5k XP. Nothing all that special here, but can we get some nice distributions from the skill boost? Because we will be getting, I think it was 100 common skill boosts, and a lot of my players do have our common skill boosts at the moment. So that's going to cost us 60 thanks giving points. Let's see guys, the distribution of skill boost is so, so, so bad. Look at that. 40 crossing, 20 free kick. I mean, for me, free kick's good because I've got three players with the free kick skill boosts. 20 uh, generalist goalkeeper and then 20 agility. Like, that distribution, guys, is absolutely horrible. I much prefer it last season where it was sort of all over the place. But at least you'd be getting, um, you know, some of each of the skill boosts now if you look at that 40 crossing and only four common skill boosts in total that's really really poor guys i don't know why they've changed it um but let me know what your thoughts are about that in the comment section down below 
Um, we can also go and get some of this XP. So I think I will continue on the main path until I get to the next uh, side path and then get the skill boost and then just obviously leave the player as we go through and do that. And we can also get some more gems here. So we'll be stopped at this point, uh, at this moment in time, but that's still all good. Anyway, guys, um, what I want to do also is go back into my team and do some upgrades. So we are at 90 overall. We've picked up a few players. Um, we picked up Griezmann, absolutely fantastic card. We also um, changed out Payet. Uh, well, sorry, we also put Payet into the team ahead of Fakir. Just because Payet has the same skill boost as the Pogba and the Kondogbia being the free kick. And I also picked up our Ben Yedda. So I sold Lacazette. I sold our Benzema. I sold our Fakir and a whole bunch of other players. Um, and I have also been working on head-to-head -head quite a bit. I haven't actually um, got to FIFA Champion yet. But I hopefully I uh, will get there by the end of the season. We'll just have to wait and see though. I've been enjoying head-to-head -head much more just because... Like I said in a video, my previous video, it's just the gameplay is just all over the place uh, at this moment in time. So I'm hoping that it does get fixed, but for me, Versa Attack isn't really all that enjoyable. Um, but I still want to upgrade the team, guys, because even though it doesn't really have an effect on the way that the game is at the moment, I want to obviously build on this in the future. So we are sort of working towards like a French team with uh, various leagues in it, which we may work on in the future, but... I'm not sure if it will be sort of permanent, but that's what I'm going for for the time being. Just because they've got high rated cards, you know, Kante, Pogba, Griezmann. Obviously, I'm not going to train them, but let's get into upgrading us to 91 overall. So we've got some uh, skill boosts here. I think I need to upgrade 11 times. So there's three uh, upgrades there to get to 91. So that is our sixth skill boost on the free kick. Been getting most of my skill boost just from Versatac, guys, um, as well as spending my league points on the skill boost. Not all my league points. Just saving a few of them just in case. Um, but there is a, another uh, increase on diving. So that's getting that to level 4. And now what I need to look at is upgrading the players. So if you take a look here, um, there's such a huge curve in relation to the training. Going from 84 to 85 costs 80,000 XP, guys, which is pretty crazy. But we are going to train up this Yeda. I've really been enjoying uh, the way that it does play. He's absolutely fantastic in-game. Um, so that's nice. And that's going to cost us 181k. So there is our first upgrade. What I need to do now is then just show you a comparison. So I'm going to train uh, this Luke Shaw up to 84 overall. So you can see 34k. And then if you look back at what I showed you previously, it was 81,000 guys. So it's pretty, pretty steep uh, when you get into this territory. Um, so you can see from 84 to 85 is 81,000. But... From 83 to 84 is only 34,000. So pretty crazy stuff, guys. Pretty crazy stuff. That's what I'd probably work on first uh, for everyone is getting your players to 84 overall and then taking it from there. Um, so I'm just going to be upgrading a few players to 85. Not all that many. So I will also train up uh, this Payet to 84 overall. He was quite cheap. I actually managed to pick him up for like 350k. So um, I don't feel as though I'm really losing all that much there. Um, and I do save, obviously, coins on training another player. So it's nice to have him already at 82 overall. And he also does have the free kick skill boost, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's just see if we've got any uh, smaller denominations. Have we got any of the smaller chunks there? We should have. And there we go, guys. That is 84 overall to the pay it. I will also upgrade a few other players. Um, I'm thinking of upgrading my Kondogbia as well as potentially the Bai, And that will probably be it. And then I've got... All my players at at least 84 and above. And that's when it gets really, really tough, guys. So I'll just go and train this Kondogbia. I've already trained him up from 80 overall. I really like the way that he does play. And he does have the roulette. I feel as though the roulette is quite critical uh, this season. It's very, very important. I will actually use um, one of these players. I'll use this uh, Felady because I don't think I'll be using him. As well as just some smaller chunks there. So that should be enough. Um, but yeah, I really do enjoy the roulette this season, guys. Um, it is, for me, probably the best skill move. Um, what is your favorite skill move? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'm interested about that. And finally, let's just train up this buy. I think if I've done uh, everything right, I should be at uh, 91 overall. And that will probably be enough for the time being. Um, sort of going forward, I'm going to need to start stacking XP and hope to, uh, you know, just get a whole bunch of good XP packs from head to head. And here's the team at the moment, guys. 91 overall. So it is looking nice. Obviously, uh, the Savage here is a short-term solution 
um, and I don't really have any interest in keeping him in the team because obviously long term he's not going to get uh, any skill boosts and he will drag the rating down but for the time being he is nice and I've also got you know Pogba, Kante, Griezmann and Azpilicueta all untrained high rated elites that will be worth a decent amount of coins so if I do need to change them I can simply sell them because there are the weekly masters or sorry the campaign masters that we are getting very very close to and I'm thinking about picking up one of the French players um, which we may do uh, next week by the time that the weekly campaigns do reset but what I want to do quickly just before we end off the video guys is have a look at some of the team of the week players so the team of the week players from the first week are actually auctionable now um, there's some really really nice cards um, in particular, obviously, the Sterling and the Mertens. At 2.4 mil, I mean, he's a pretty nice card, um, to say the least. At 84 overall, definitely something to consider um, if you are building a Premier League team. And also a decent skill booster. Um, for me, I don't know if I'll pick him up, but if I need to revert back to a wing formation, he gives me a great, great option. Also, guys, um, the probably the big card, the marquee card of the minute is the... Uh, 86 overall Merton, so absolutely fantastic card guys, and he's only 2.6 mil, which is actually pretty cheap um, The only problem with this card is his uh, skill boost. His skill boost is really really bad in my opinion You don't unlock the skill boost I think until like legendary 1 or legendary 2 So it's a very very rare skill boost and on top of that. It's also epic. So you're getting less of them um, But obviously guys absolutely monstrous stats, but he may be hard uh, to get up in terms of his overall he does have the roulette as well as finesse and long shot taker as well as being of an obvious like speed demon guys absolutely fantastic card but the one thing is a skill boost but with so many people building our uh, Serie R teams he's definitely an option going forward but other than that guys how is everything going for you are you guys still playing the game I know that a lot of people are disappointed with the way that the game is going and personally guys so am I um, I just hope that the gameplay is fixed but other than that, guys, it's going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything and peace.